All right, actually, something I want kind of want to show off before I do anything. Is any is anything happening in this prison? I just uh, it's not worth checking. Uh, something I want to show off before actually heading back to the ship to do what you got to do there is uh, you can come here now and see that there's a light on in this place too. So you're like, well, what the hell, man? They can't be robbing these people too, can they? Well, let's see. Closed all night for pirate party. Huh? <laughs> Jeez. I wish I could do that. Just bring a couple of friends into a pub or something and just get them to close it. <laughs> and then it doesn't even matter if like Morgan Freeman himself walks up to the door. They'll be like, yeah, we're closed. Sorry. Of course, if it was Morgan Freeman, then I would probably let him in anyway. All right, let's see. Come on, Nico. I said it right before. You were just being too stupid, I guess. Maybe he, re maybe he recognized my voice. Yeah, so you do actually have to put this in uh, exactly right. Otherwise, uh, like if you put it in all caps or all lowercase or anything, and you, even if you spell it right, he's not going to give it to you, I don't think. So, uh, no, not chummy. -y. How do you pronounce that? Well, chummily. There we go. Get it? Feed me Seymour. Get it? Oh yeah, finally time to get out of this rain, man. I mean, good lord. No, not out of the rain, man. Out of the rain, man. If you want, you can actually head into Tetra's room here and check out what she's got. She's got a nice little turquoise couch here and a picture of, uh, somebody. I'm not sure what that's all about. And there's also a picture of, um, that you might recognize here from the very opening cutscene with all the clouds and stuff. That's kick-ass. That's, like, <laughs> I, I guess that's supposed to be the hero of time. I, I didn't know she was into that sort of stuff. And the Triforce here, like, good lord. It's kind of a weird tri- like, the bottom corner of it, the bottom right corner is all cut off. I don't know what- huh. Actually, I, I don't think you're supposed to even know what the Triforce is at this point in the game. Unless you've played other Zeldas. I think that's actually a- that lamp right there, that- there's a striking resemblance to something else that we'll be seeing in a later side quest. Whatever, there's not really too much you can do here. What is with the proportions on this chest of drawers here, though? Like, look at these drawers. They're... This is weird. Hmm. I guess that's where you keep all the odds and ends, like Rubik's Cubes or Silly Putty or whatever, because it's all distorted. I don't know, it just seems like the kind of chest or the kind of drawers. Oh, Argon! My old swabby Argon! You're s so you're alive? All the other pirates said you had done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive. Yeah, buddy. Well, I'd be plenty more alive if I picked up that heart container and dragon roost. I have to keep reminding myself of that. Sorry. <laughs> I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here with everyone else. Is having, is in town having fun eating and stuff. Yeah, you're just... You're the center of the toilet bowl. Let's see. But I guess being worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, Swabby. Not this crap again. Yeah, yeah, lantern tang. Sa second verse, same as the first, basically. Yeah, like he says here, uh, there's no platforms this time. But even so, it's really not that hard to just jump from one to the other. You just gotta have relatively good accuracy. It doesn't even have to be perfect. And that's not all this time I put a gate on the door too. Well, that's not really any different, it's just a different form of a time limit. We had a time limit before, so it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Oh, how do you open that? Do you have, like, some amazing mind powers? Do you have a Triforce, too? you have, like, Zelda's ability? You open the door with your skinny-ass arms. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Well, shit. <laughs> give me the best, give it your best shot, Swabby. Why don't you hit it with your best shot? Ba -dow, ba -dow. Fire away. Alright, so, no, what the hell are you doing? Link, Link, stop, <laughs> stop ramming the banister with your face. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so like I said, this really isn't that bad. Uh, if you could turn that, no, wrong way. Alright, I'm probably going to screw this up now. After saying that, it's so easy. No, I, <laughs> even so, I think I can still probably make this pretty easily. Oh man, I almost made that. I wonder, I think you can actually do this though. Like if you miss that, then you can uh, sort of jump like that. Yeah, perfect. It's a little bit of a funky jump there, but... You know, like funky calm. Should be able to still make it, yeah. See, you don't even have to be accurate. I should have missed that one just now, but... It really doesn't matter too much. Oh, is the timer running out? I thought I heard a little ticking sound. 
Uh, oh, I guess that was just part of the background noise or something. Oh, but we're almost there, don't worry. Like I said, this really isn't too bad at all. Just be sure not to miss this last one. I've done that before where you don't jump far enough and you just miss the platform altogether. It's really embarrassing when that happens. And Link's just looking like, dude, seriously? What? You gotta be- you did it already? You're- you're incredible! This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. And how do you even get over here in the first place? You buck tooth jackass. And if I give this to everyone, everyone- and if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. I'll be so busted. Oh, uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, real serious, okay? Okay? Yeah, because I'm sure they'll never find out that their bombs are missing. I mean, come on. Let's see here. Oh, my cat. Mm, my cat wants the bombs too, apparently. I don't know what she wants to do with them. But yes, finally, we actually do get bombs! Oh my god, I love the style of these bombs. It's probably one of my, some of my favorite bombs in the freaking whole series. I love how there's like a little red outline around the top there, around the big stone corky thing. It's like you can actually like see inside, like there's already an explosion happening inside or something. That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Yeah, you know, I try. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed to that tower. Well, you know, water makes a good, it breaks your fall pretty good. Actually, no, it doesn't if you're talking reality. Yeah, I haven't. I'm sorry. You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in and everything how badly things can go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind get, look, to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. I'm sure Gonzo would have. He's just... <laughs> he's a little douche. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyways? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure too. You're damn right. Right now, Jabun is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. <laughs> That's convenient. Uh, you can't get in without breaking down the door. Really? I thought I could just sail on through. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving out that first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jibun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right back by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. But little do you know that tomorrow morning is never going to come. At least not until I'm th through with this. Because like I said, uh, it won't. morning won't come until actually some point after, uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna lock Nico in there. Why not? Have a nice life. Yeah, morning won't come until after you've gotten the third pearl, so you're plenty safe. Don't even worry about it. I was so scared about this as a kid, though, because, like, I, I like, literally, I booked it to Outset Island. I was so scared, because I got, I just had this mental picture in my head, uh, that, um, of like me just sailing along the open seas and then like in and then like morning comes and all of a sudden this gigantic pirate ship just comes like blazing past me or something I, I just I was so terrified that that was gonna happen that I wouldn't be able to win the game or something of course they would never do that to you so don't even worry about it oh we got more mail holy crap well I'll never turn down a uh, never turn down publicity let's see here is your letter notice from Beetle Shop Ship it's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza! We have a new product that has burst into the scene. Bombs! Oh, what perfect timing! We're having an extra special sale on the choice of, on this choice item for a limited time only. You know, you'll know where to find us by checking in the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop Ship near you today! Offers not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity! Uh, yeah, like I'm gonna need this. Like I ever have a problem finding Beetle, you know where to find Beetle Shop Ships. Beetle's floating shop ships. Alright, yeah, so that's sort of useful. I guess I can actually show something off with that really quick, is that if you uh, go look at that, yeah, it shows all the locations of Beetle, but you can notice that one that's uh, in the square, it's like one in from the left and three down from the top. He's wearing the golden helmet there. That's actually a very special Beetle shop ship, and you're going to want to amass quite a large sum of rupees before going to see him. Just trust me on that one. Dude... We're not going for a swim right now. It's a horrible idea, especially with all, with all this lightning around. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until tomorrow morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Argon. We got all the time in the world, dude. Don't you worry. I mean, literally. All right. So as you might imagine, um, 
The trip from out from windfall to outset is quite a long one, as you can see there. So I'm probably just going to cut there for, for the most part. I mean, there's a few things that I might want to do on the way over. I can't exactly remember what islands are on the way there. But, um, yeah. Okay, guys, so uh, I decided to take a bit of a detour and actually head north, uh, northwest first. Because there is a fairy island up here. Like, uh, I always find it best to do this when it's, like, right now when it's fresh on your mind after visiting Tingle Island there. Because right here we have Northern Fairy Island. Definitely want to stop here as soon as you can. Because, um, let's see, let me just see what this guy says. The little shopmaster on Windfall Island, the parent got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He has a magic armor or something. Like, like that. It's a pretty cool magic relic from what I've heard. If you want to leave it to you, Fry. Try starting staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery, Fry. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell kind of voice that was. It sounded like a 1950s, like, reporter person or something. Anyways, yeah, that magic armor thing, that's a side quest for another day. Oh, looks like we got a treasure chart here, too. Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna go ahead and see the fairy here first, and then go ahead and uh, try and get that treasure. Because if it's 200 rupees instead of a heart piece, then I'm gonna regret picking that up first. There should be also a blue shoe jelly on the side. Yep, there he is. I'm pretty sure there's one of these on uh, most every fairy island. Yeah, and unlike most other fairy islands, I mean, this is the first one we've actually seen up close, I guess. But this one, you can just walk right in. Normally, there's some kind of obstacle there. You're not a great fairy. What the hell is happening here? Oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? I love this design for the great fairies. It's probably my favorite. Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Please, please do. I really need what you're... Oh, my God. Fe flower petals? Really? <laughs> well, I suppose it's better than whatever the other fairies in the other games did to me to upgrade my stuff. Oh, you got more rupees! Yay! Now hold up to 1,000 rupees. Thank the lord. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness when you go fatigued from your battles. Come back here to be refreshed. It's a little far out of the way. I mean, it's all the way at the top of the map, so I probably won't be back here again. But, uh, actually, one thing I have to do... Oh, shoot. Uh, well, is it worth it then? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of this red potion, even though I don't really need it. Um, this is going to be a once in a... This is going to be a unique thing that you're probably going to see. You're probably never going to see me do this again. I'm actually putting a fairy in a bottle. That's where I'm putting it. This isn't for me, don't worry. It's not It's not as a death insurance as it normally is for most people. Because as many of you know already, I don't... Uh, I think putting fairies in balls makes this game way too easy. Or any Zelda game way too easy. But this is actually for a side quest later on, believe it or not, so, um, yeah, we'll save that for later.